The new developments in AI have raised many questions about the future of our job market. Are our jobs safe or will we be replaced by robots? Today, I'd like to talk you through some of the potential scenarios and try to answer the question we've all been hearing a lot. Will AI take over my job? AI could replace up to 300 million jobs, according to Goldman and Sachs. Economists predict that 80% of work can be computerized and white-collar workers could be the first to be replaced. 400 million people worldwide could be displaced as a result of AI before 2030. It was also found that AI could account for 3.5 to 5.8 trillion in annual value. One of my first jobs as a student was a call center customer agent. Those jobs are definitely going to become way less relevant in the future as AI can run chatbot conversations and recognize spoken queries very easily. The Portuguese health ministry is even going to use ChatGPT to run the emergency hotline by 2025. If you work as a call center customer support agent, I would definitely try to make sure you have a plan B. Same goes for many other jobs that deal with highly repetitive tasks like administrative tasks, issuing documents, security checks, manufacturing goods, packaging, warehouse operations. Jobs that deal with transportation, although it will take a good few years, it is likely to happen this decade that drones will deliver your lunch at work. AI is great at processing and analyzing data. Do you remember Chandler from Friends? What is Chandler Bing's job? His job was data processor. He was manually putting in data points into Excel sheets. Get you a job right here as an entry-level process. But don't you need experience for a job like that? It's not that hard to learn. Cleaning that data up to make it readable for data analysts. Well, that's gone. Data analysts and entry clerks should definitely make sure they have a backup. Same for travel agents, checkout cashiers, manufacturing workers, postmen, switchboard operators. What are the craziest dreams you've ever had? As the most official intelligence, I'm lacking the necessary concomitants for dreaming or insanity. My imagination is limited to the data I've been fed. AI so far doesn't have imagination. AIs need human partners. And just because of that, we definitely will not see AI doing coders' jobs anytime soon. Rather, we will see coding jobs become more efficient. Our students, when they graduate our core curriculum, step into the job of a junior software engineer. Let's have one of our 42 graduates who works as a junior software engineer tell us what kind of impact AI has on his work. The impact that AI has on the work that I'm doing right now is more than a tool to help me than uh, something that does the work for me. I would say that this is a great tool to skip the learning phases that are not my main focus right now. So I will take, for example, uh, a work that I'm doing is I need to connect to a switch via, via SSH uh, in Python. I could learn the whole library of uh, SSH script, but this is not my main focus as I don't want to be an expert on this. I just want uh, this uh, to be ready as fast as possible. So I will be using ChatGPT in this case to have my problem solved as soon as possible with clear exp explanation from it. For sure, I don't take the ChatGPT response as it is. I will always change it for it to be my own style of coding and the um, variables and everything that I want to, it to do. Because in many cases, ChatGPT is not uh, the one and only through. So I will change it and iterate it so it feels more like my code than anything else. Uh, my task would have been different if I didn't be able to use AI as I am not that good in DevOps. And this is something that I'm doing right now. I think that my team wouldn't have gave me the DevOps task if I weren't uh, able to use uh, my favorite AI tool that is ChatGPT because uh, I would have need to learn way more than I have to. And ChatGPT is only here because I know what the big task is that I want to do. I just don't know the little steps to do it right away.
Sure, AI will replace parts of our jobs, but those are the parts that were quite often blocking us from creative work we really like to do. In terms of the direct impact on the job market, it's not completely clear, but many experts predict that we might see an initial dip in software engineering jobs demand, if at all, but it will be quickly followed by an immediate increase in demand due to the fact that software will initially become easier to make. But shortly after, we will see that because it is easier to make, it becomes cheaper and thus smaller software products will be needed to supply that immense increase in popularity. There are also some new jobs that are already popping up and will continue to do so as we go on. Prompt engineers who specialize in writing prompts to get AI to do exactly what we need it to do. AI ethicists to make sure that outputs of AI don't harm humanity. Machine learning engineers will increase in demand and so will AI trainers, AI user experience designers, AI security specialists. And let's not forget about cybersecurity. As you might remember from our cybersecurity episode, that sector has been exploding with job positions and it will continue to do so. As you well know by now, you can study cybersecurity as an advanced track at our school, just like you can become a software engineer specializing in AI with us. And for sure, in some parts of your journey, as a student, AI will be very helpful. This is the last episode of the season, and it comes with a perk. You can win our hoodie, t-shirt, or a mug if you comment under this video with an answer to the following question. Which human skill will be most useful to employees in times of AI development? We will award most creative answers from the comments with gifts, as long as you submit them by the end of July 2023. See you in a few weeks for the next season of our mini-series that will present my experience doing the PC. Keep your fingers crossed. See ya!